What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today I wanted to cover Algorand's latest DeFi protocol and that is AlgoFi version 2.0. So AlgoFi is a hybrid between Aave, Uniswap and Maker Compound where you can do cool things such as lend your tokens, you can swap, provide liquidity to various pools, you can zap and convert, you can yield farm and earn a high yield and participate in Algorand governance. So AlgoFi has been claiming the ranks as Algorand's biggest DeFi protocol with now currently holding over 111 million total value locked. So finally with version 2, AlgoFi has launched a bunch of cool new features with a new app, new set of pools, and a new set of vaults. I'm super bullish on what AlgoFi is doing where you can leverage your algo, you can earn USDC, and you can even borrow the native STBL stable coin. So today I wanted to cover a complete guide on how to yield farm and stake within the AlgoFi version 2 platform. Let's get started. So in order to get started, you will have to install the MyAlgo wallet. And currently this is the most popular Web3 wallet for utilizing the Algorand ecosystem. It runs both on desktop and mobile version. It's free and easy to use. And you can also use the official Algorand wallet, which is the Para wallet. But keep in mind, this version only works as a desktop version they do not have a mobile version yet so for that reason i recommend you install my algo instead and get started with that you would create an account and sign in and on the home page you get your dashboard where you can send and receive algorand tokens you can purchase algorand you can view your available assets within the wallet and you can even view previous transaction history so the next step would be to buy some Algorand from Coinbase and send it over to my algo. You can use other exchanges such as Kraken, Crypto.com, KuCoin. There's tons of exchanges that offer Algorand. So I'm a big fan of using Coinbase Pro because of the low fees. So once you've purchased it, you would go over to withdraw and select Algorand, crypto address, Make sure you're under the Algorand network. So under the two section, you would paste your MyAlgo wallet address here. And back to your wallet, click on receive. This would generate your unique address code. Go ahead and copy and paste that and paste it under the MyAlgo address. And under amount, you can choose max. And there is an associated gas fee. That's a network fee. And a network fee is simply a transaction cost to send a crypto from point A to point B. And as you can see, the network fee here is 0.002 ALGO, which is extremely low, extremely cheap, less than a penny to send Algorand over the network. And a few seconds later, your coins have been deposited into your MyAlgo wallet and your new balance has been updated. So the next step would be to connect your MyAlgo wallet to the official AlgoFi website. So the website here is algofi.org where you can earn interest, borrow, trade, and more. And click on app here. So the homepage is the Lend tab here so simply connect your wallet up here choose my algo and go ahead and enter your algorand password you created earlier and it should be an instantaneous connection and finally you're inside the platform so now you can choose one of three different DeFi strategies you can lend algo or usdc you can provide liquidity to a pool and farm the lp tokens or you can deposit algo into the governance vaults so let's start with the first strategy, either lending some algo or some USDC. So under the lend tab, you have various coins available to you. You have algo, stable, USDC, USDT, go BTC or go ETH. So always take a look at the total volume and the total amount supply. This will tell you where most traders are placing their bets. This is a good indicator for you to follow because you know these are relatively safer strategies. So the top two coins for lending here are algo with over 18 million supplied and USDC with 20 million supplied. So the lending supply APRs are relatively slow. Where the higher returns lie are under the pool and farm tabs. This is where you earn double digit rewards. But for lending, because it's such a relatively low risk strategy, you are netting roughly two to three percent just for lending your coins. So consider lending the least risky strategy. So previously I did lend some USDC and you would click on the USDC tab here 
here, make sure you opt in and allow the wallet to connect. And under the supply tab, you choose the amount of USDC you want to supply. And for lending, rewards are paid out in the ALGO token. And same goes for Algorand. So a medium risk strategy would be providing liquidity to a pool plus farming those LP tokens. So let me review what this strategy looks like. This is you as an investor and this is a pool here. So you as an investor can either deposit one or two different coins to a pool and in return you earn trading fees plus LP tokens. LP tokens are your receipt for your contribution. Furthermore, as you're earning trading fees plus those LP tokens, you can also stake the LP tokens to earn double rewards. This is how you maximize your earnings. So again, providing liquidity to a pool is a medium risk strategy. So let's cover that. So in order to find out what pool you want to contribute to, let's take a look at the available pools on the platform. So we're gonna work backwards here. So simply hover over to farm. This will show us the available pools under the platform. And we have various pairs here. We have Algo USDC, which is netting 5.5% plus trading fees. We have single asset USDC, which is earning roughly 9%. We have USDT, which is netting up to 11% and even the USDC, USDT pair, which is netting roughly 17% APR. So let's say you want to contribute to this USDC, USDT pool. You will need equal amounts of each individual asset. So you would hover over to the swap page and whatever algo you have available and first convert some coins to USDC. So let's say we have 10 algos, we'd convert 10 to USDC and approve that transaction. And afterwards, we would get equal amount of the other pair, which is USDT. So again, we would choose 10 USDT. So now we have an equal weighting of those two tokens. And you can always verify your new balance up here on the top right corner under your wallet section. So once you have equal amounts of both coins, you would simply go back to farm and select your corresponding pool and make sure you opt in and deposit those tokens. Super easy, very straightforward. So what the Zap function does is it converts one asset in two different coins in order to save gas fees. So Algo can can be converted to a different pair such as algo stable algo usdc choices are really unlimited it just depends on what pool you want to contribute to and to contribute to a specific pool just go over to the pool section and choose whichever pair you would like algo and for example we can choose usdc and approve the transaction here and lastly another strategy would be to participate in the official algorand governance vaults and this is a relatively low risk strategy. So under the vault section, Algofi has teamed up with the official Algorand governance, allowing you to vote on governance proposals and earn an APR for participation. So this vault section is directly linked to the official Algorand governance website where you're able to commit your algos and vote on proposals. So instead of using the official governance website, Algofi has made it easier for you to use their vault section section as well. They're both exactly the same thing and they both provide the same return rate. So currently we are in the governance period number five and there's three things you have to do here. First is to commit your algo and you have a short period of time to commit your algo and that's roughly a two month window in order to commit your algos. Right now we're in period five. Once period five ends, period six will begin. But once you've locked in your algo, the second step would be to vote. Make sure you vote. So voting is necessary in order for you to earn the rewards. If you do not vote, you will not earn the rewards. And lastly, after voting, you claim your rewards. Do not forget to claim your algo for participation. So you really have to follow through with all of these steps in order to earn those rewards. So the payout for period number five currently is 6.6% APR, and that's paid out in algo token. I do have a separate video covering the Algorand governance using their official platform. So be sure to check that out. If you don't use Algofy, like I mentioned, they both work exactly the same way. And finally, you get to decide what to do with your rewards within Algofy. 
you would have to claim the rewards and reinvest them or you can even swap those rewards into another token so because i am lending some usdc token i will be paid out in algo and i am long-term bullish on algo so i will keep my algo as is i don't want to convert them to a different coin so i can take the algo i received and i can in turn continue lending the same algo under the lend tab so this is how you compound your rewards the rewards you receive you recontribute to the lending market so those rewards keep multiplying but another option for you would be to swap them to another coin for example you could go back into swap and swap those algo into usdc and from there you can grab your new usdc go over to go over to farm and stake those usdc tokens and earn up to nine percent apr so the possibilities are truly endless it's up to you how creative you want to get with your rewards and it also depends on your risk appetite would you rather play it safe or take a more risky investment like I mentioned, I am long-term bullish on algo, so I would prefer to keep the coin as is. I don't want to convert them to different coins. I like what I am holding. So that's it. That covers a complete guide on how to use the AlgoFi version 2.0. They've added a ton of new ways for you to earn money on your algo tokens. And definitely stay up to date with everything AlgoFi related on their official Twitter page at AlgoFi.org and follow Algorand's official Twitter at Algorand. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. And don't forget to check out my other YouTube video covering version one. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.